Hi everyone and welcome to Dark Souls Prepare to Live Permadeath Run This is chapter 14 and guess what we're going to find Yep, Calamite, the Black Dragon Now first we have to talk to the best NPC ever to grace us in this game and I'm just going to show it to you and uh, yeah I'm really worried I'm just really worried I took a day off from the last episode uh, just to plan what the fuck I was going to do if you're wondering if, you, if I'm practicing this on an alternative account when I load this game you can actually see that there is only one account that's kinda uh, part of the transparency that I wanted to show you I'm not practicing this this is not practice this is just memory muscle memory you could you could refer it to okay Okay, I just wanted to make uh, leave you some NPC commentary here. This this is this is the greatest NPC in the game. So now I'm going to s step through it. See, he talks about the black dragon now. You have to say yes. He's called Calamit. He was feared in Anorlondo, in the best days of Anorlondo. And he's going to... Yeah, he asks us if you're going to persevere to the bitter end. Yes. And he's gonna... You're, you're gonna see what he's gonna do. To the bitter end. Uh-huh. That that could that could be the name of this episode, maybe. Chapter, I guess. I'm calling it chapters. Okay, so now Go is going to uh help us with Kalamit by doing an amazing feat. By the way it's kinda blind. But he was a hunter of dragons, of ancient dragons. So there he goes. Beautiful Calamite. And there we have it. He's gonna throw Calamite down for us, so we can actually fight him. A truer shot was never loose, indeed, my friend. So, now we can get to Calamite and kill him. Thank you, Ho 
Th thank you, Gao. Thanks a lot. Okay. So after that, maybe one of the best cutscenes in the game. We are going to go and face Calamite, and I am fucking terrified. And <laughs> I don't know if I like some. I guess I could kind of try to block some of this of his attacks. To be honest, because oh, Ciaran. Okay, hi Ciaran. This is a friend of Artorias. He's gonna ask us for his soul. Yeah, why not? And she's gonna give us daggers. And that dagger that she gave us, the orange one, the gold tracer, is probably one of the best weapons in the game. It builds bleed, so if you actually hit uh, enough of an enemy, it bleeds him, and it's is great for PvE and for P and for PvP like. I could have done this to the guy that was PP me, and maybe I could have killed him now because he was he was hitting really strong. But see that see this combo. This is an amazing dagger, really beautiful dagger, uh, but we don't get to use it because he needs like 40 or 45 dexterity to actually be useful, and a plus five of course and we are on the strength route and not the sterity so doesn't really matter do I have souls? no but I have this that I don't want to use mistakenly use so I'm alive once again I'm human I mean I'm alive as well but I'm human so I could get invaded uh, I have to kill the dogs again right yeah So one of the things that maybe uh, people don't like about Dark Souls is that enemy res uh, respawn like if it were a Castlevania game or something like that when you go to a bonfire and rest the enemies respawn so you get to you know recuperate your health and and Estus flasks but at the same time you get punished by just spawning everything all over again and the, and the moral of that humanity and the model of that is actually enemy and dragon, yeah. Is to actually um, get better at the game. That's why everything that darks that everything that makes Dark Souls a great game uh, is in the game is because it you have to get better at the game. Every time you play, every time you die, you don't have to see death as a failure. You have to see death as a chance to do it again, as a try, a, a retry. And this is my nemesis, Calamite. Okay. Let's get out. Oh, fuck. Okay, run, run, run. Actually, I don't know what the fuck is he doing. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Ah. See, I don't Okay, this is going to give me time to heal. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, see, I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember all the moves. That's that's the that's the problem with Calamite. Okay. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Oh, I I should have rolled there. Come on, do something. I really need to get better Estus here. Oh, nice. Nice, this gives me time to attack. 
that's not nice that's not nice come on calamite fucking behave oh fuck yeah I'm healing a lot I'm sorry but I don't really remember oh. okay oh shit the camera fuck please don't fuck me camera oh okay oh shit Ooh. okay I roll there if you're wondering oh that was dangerous come on Kalamit oh okay he's dead he's dead oh my god I kill him that was so fucking sloppy guys did you see how fucking sloppy that was oh my god okay we got the calamity ring that is kinda like a gimmick I'm gonna show you right now what the calamity ring does so if you equip it A ring enchanted by the orange eyes of Calamity, the bringer of Calamity, doubles damage received by its wearer. A useless ring befitting of no finger. Best left unknown or at least well hidden. Yeah, this, when you equip it, see the little eye there? This gives you double damage. And you don't do double damage, you only receive double damage. So. <laughs> It's kind of like equipping a ring that makes things twice as hard. And again, Dark Souls is all about this stuff. It's all about, you know, giving you tools to uh, manipulate the difficulty as much as you can. So there are there are no easy, hard, or you know, normal modes like in other games. You actually manipulate the difficulty. I always love that. So let's go back to the bonfire. I can't believe I actually survived Kalamit. Thank God for my health. Uh, let's go back to Firelink. That could be a good place. I like I, I like Firelink. And uh, what's next? We finished the DLC, guys. Let me level up. Can we get it to 40? I want to get to 40 in vitality and not level up anymore. So. Okay. So, in the next chapter, guys, we have finished with the DLC. Oh, I want to go to Painted World. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Painted World. So, in the next chapter, uh, believe it or not, we are in good shape once again. Painted World, I don't think Painted World is a breaking point, even though there is a certain path that can kill me. And you probably know what part that is if you played Dark Souls uh, before. But uh, yeah, we're going to the painted world. We're going to visit Priscilla, and that's probably going to be the next chapter. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, we are still alive. I can just I, I can't fucking believe that I survived the DLC. And I'll see you again next time. Take care.